All right, hello, Internet. I'm going to be talking today about how to set up and kick off an instance on Amazon's uh, EC2. Um, it's their computing cloud. Uh, so uh, I'm going to start at the very beginning. Um, basically, just you got to go to this website. That'll be the first link I provide in the little description below. And you got to sign up for an Amazon account. Um, if you have an Amazon account, you can use your existing one. Just hit sign up to the console right here. And well, Sign me in right away because I already have one, but yeah, I'm not going to insult your intelligence there. Just make an Amazon account, sign in, and go on to the next step, which is to make an identity access management user. So um, click on that second link in the description, and it'll bring you over to, or once you've already signed in to your AWS account, it'll bring you over to this page right here. First thing you're going to want to do is make a users group. So go over to this groups in the side panel, create create a new group. Uh, you can call it whatever. Um, I already have one, so I'm not going to actually do it. But uh, type in the name, and it's going to be your administrators group, so select administrators access right here. Um, you don't have to worry about the policy. It's The defaults are just fine. And once, you, once you're happy with that, just hit create group, and you'll be put back at this page right here. Next thing, you need to make users for your group. So under the users tab, this will be totally blank. Just hit uh, create new users. And if you just want to create one, just type in the name of your user. So we'll say test or whatever you want to name it. And make sure that you generate an access key for each user is checked. All right, so under create, uh, after you hit uh, next, you're going to have to hit download cred credentials. This is going to download uh, your key, your private key that you'll need if you're ever going to SSH into your EC2 instance. So and this is like the only time you can actually actually ever download that key. So make sure you download it and save it in some place safe. Um, we'll just say, yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, and now that you have a user in a group, you just want to simply add the user to the group. So click on the name, not the checkbox, and you're going to go add users to group, click the administrators group, and add to groups. I don't want to do that. This is just like a fake thing. Um, actually, yeah, I'll, I'll do that so I can go through the whole process. Uh, and lastly, you just want to make sure your user actually has a password. So manage password, assign a custom password, and actually, it's got to be alphanumeric, one capital or something. I don't know. Anyways, so now your user has is added to the group, has a password, and you got your key and everything. Going to be OK. So now you need to go back to the uh, the AWS console, um, but you want to sign in as this user. So if you actually go back on this um, to this dashboard, you can get this link right here, which is your you have your AWS uh, account number, and then the sign in. So um, take this, pop it in there, and you'll be prompted with this screen. So I'm going to sign in as that user test I just created. Don't worry about this checkbox. And Never. All right, so this will bring you to uh, this snazzy menu right here. You got a lot of options. Um, so if you want to make a you know different kind of server, if you want to start up a MySQL server, uh, go for it. But right now we're just doing an EC2 kind of a general server. Anyways, all right. So first thing you want to do once you get here is create a new key pair. So that'll be in the side right here. Click on key pairs. Um, you see I already have one right here, but we're going to make a new one, create a new pair, um, call it whatever you want. Um, preferably something that makes a little bit more sense than what I'm going to do. But anyways, create a new key pair. Uh, make sure you save it again. It's the same story as the last one. You won't get another chance to do this. And ooh, um. Before you do that, make sure you actually have the right region selected. Um, any of the re well, any of the regions are going to be available. Um, preferably, though, I'm on the east side of the U.S. I would have picked uh, the North Virginia server as opposed to the Oregon one, but it shouldn't matter. Actually, let's just do that. Start another one in uh, North Virginia. Keep her name. Uh, I don't know. Think of a better name than that and save that. All right, uh, once you have, and um, since this is a tutorial for Ubuntu or any Linux really, um, once you have that, make sure you uh, 
open up your terminal. Uh, go to that downloads directory. Ooh. And you're gonna want to do. Uh, you're gonna want to change. Let's see. You want to change the permissions of your key to 400, and that was my EC2 test, North Virginia. All right, so make sure you do that, otherwise you will not be able to SSH into your instance. All right, so once you have your key created, you want to go to secure. Next step is to make a security group. So go on over there. Um, I don't want to use my security group of cool dudes, even though that is a pretty cool security group. So I'm going to do cooler dudes. Um, and this is just kind of like a mess, messing around instance. So you know, I'd, I'd pick a serious security name, but hey. Uh, you need a description. Um, all right, good. Um, and I did not have you guys make a uh, VPC, but virtual private cloud, whatever. Um, you, you can make that in the previous steps when you're setting up your, um, before you set up your IAM account, but they provide you with the default one. So just use the one that's uh, marked with an asterisk. Um, and before we're done creating the security group, we gotta add a couple of rules. Um, since I'm eventually gonna be installing LAMP, uh, LAMP stack on this instance, I wanna enable, uh, first of all, HTTP and HTTPS, which is here. And I want to manage it from SSH, so I'm going to do that. Um, ideally, you'd type in your, you know, your public IP right here, so only you can SSH into it. But I like to live dangerously, so I'm going to say my I can uh, any source can SSH into it. It's a really bad idea. I actually suggest you put your public, your, just your uh, public IP in there. But I'll change it later. Or actually, I'm just going to delete this instance after. Let's see. All right. Um, now, if you're on Windows, uh, connecting is gonna suck. You gotta go through Putty and uh, use PuttyGen because it doesn't it doesn't recognize these uh, .pem keys. But if you're on Linux, it's super easy to SSH into your instance. Um, but first, you actually have to kick it off, wouldn't you know? Uh, so hold off on actually connecting. We're gonna go back to the dashboard and hit Launch Instance. Um, so you just gotta, you know, there's a couple pretty simple steps. Um, I'm gonna choose, well, first we gotta choose your uh, Amazon machine instance, which are basically just these uh, installs of Linux or there's a bunch of Windows ones, but you don't wanna use a Windows server. You're gonna go, for this tutorial, we're gonna go uh, just an Ubuntu 14.04 server. Select that. Um, we are cheats gates, so we're gonna do the, uh, the free tier free tier server so we got a whopping one gig of memory um i think there's like eight gigs of storage um anyways so it won't let you launch until you uh choose a <clears throat> a vpc and a subnet so go on over to step three uh you can just use the de default vpc it should have that set by by default and uh just choose a subnet it doesn't really matter um i'm just gonna choose one b and we have plenty of ip addresses uh, everything else here is good. Um, you can, again, if, if you need a bigger instance, if you want to actually spend some money, you can kick it off to a more than an eight, eight gigs of an SSD. But for our, our purposes, I'm just going to keep it to free. Um, don't got to worry about that. Hmm. So uh, under security group, since we already have one created, we don't want to make a new one. We're going to go to our cooler dude security group. Uh, which it has our, our rules for SSH, HTTP, and HTTPS. View and launch that. Okay. Um, yeah, he, here's the warning because I, I said um, SSH is just open to everyone. Um, ignore that. They don't know what they're talking about. Um, let's see. We're going to go ahead and uh, launch that. And this right, right before you launch it, you have to choose a key pair. So I'm going to go choose an existing key pair. And let's see, EC2 Test North Virginia was the key pair that I made for this tutorial. And again, it's going to say, or I acknowledge that I have access to um, the .pem file I created earlier. So as long as you downloaded that, you should be good. Check it and launch the instance. Your instance is now launched. All right. So I can view from my, my little dashboard right here all the instances. Uh, you can see it's kind of going up right now. So we might not be able to SSH into it immediately. But let me get ready for it. 
anyways, I'll at least show the command. Um, it's pretty simple on a on a Linux machine. If you're on Windows, like I said earlier, it's kind of gonna suck. Um, Amazon does have tutorials for um, for uh, connecting to it via PuTTY, um, which is probably your your easiest bet. But it, it it's gonna be a little bit more complex. Anyways, if you're on Linux, just um, first of all, make sure you know where your uh, your .pem file is, and then just type ssh tag i. Uh, here you're going to type your key path, which um, for me is this right here, ec 2 test and I'm already in my downloads folder, so ssh tag i ec 2 test um, and then you have to type in your username and your public, or at your at public DNS. Um, and your public DNS information is going to be available on this uh, dashboard below. So default username for these servers, for the Ubuntu servers anyways, are is Ubuntu. Um, I'm not sure for the other ones. It's probably something like Red Hat for Red Hat, whatever. And um, so Ubuntu at, and you have to find your public DNS. So just click on the instance you want. And your public DNS will be right here. So just copy that. And paste. Um, and there we go. We have now SSH'd into our uh, Amazon EC2 instance. Uh, it is pretty much like the most bare bones Ubuntu install ever. Um, as you can see, there's nothing even in your home directory. Uh, so, as a little bit of added bonus, I'm going to do just one quick command that'll get, uh, well, two commands that'll get a uh, lamp running on the server so you at least have something to work with. So, uh, first. You gotta do a little bit of update and nothing really to say during this time there we go and you just want to want to type after this sudo apt get install lamp dash server carrot make sure you got the carrot all right so we got 123 megs um, might take a little while um, after a little bit of time it'll prompt you to enter a um, a PHP password. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, uh, not PHP. My SQL. Um, just type that in. Whatever you want it to be, and you should be on your way. Um, if this doesn't take too long, but um, yeah, if this doesn't take too long, you, I'll, I'll show you how to uh, actually get to your uh, your web page that you're running. Hmm. All right. This is taking a little while. Basically, if you want to get to the web page, just uh, push it off to the side. Just get um, on your EC2 instance. Just grab your public DNS and just slap it right into your. Oh well. Basically, yeah. So slap it right into your. Uh, it, it did actually just finish up over here. So if you just paste that into your web browser, you'll get the um, basically the it works page. So. There you go. You have an up and running uh, EC2 web server. And if you want something more exciting than this, uh, this boring default page, if you CD twice and go to your uh, where is it? CD into var and then CD into the www folder, uh, you'll have one HTML page, which is this uh, the default page that Apache installs just to let you know where it works on. So if you want to start uh, changing around the HTML pages on your uh, on your new web server, you can just uh, delete this and put in whatever you want. So, yeah, that is basically the process to uh, start off a very basic EC2 server and uh, install a lamp, a lamp server on it. So, yeah, if you got any questions for me, post them down below and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try and answer them for you. Anyways, uh, see ya.